Hello everyone. Anyone with an interest in information security will have encountered ISO 27001, the international standard that describes best practice for an ISMS, information security management system. However, you might not be as familiar with ISO 27002. Let's start with, what is ISO 27001? ISO 27001 is the central framework of the ISO 27000 series, which is a series of documents relating to various parts of information security management. The standard contains the implementation requirements for an ISMS. These are essentially an overview of everything you must do achieve compliance. This is particularly useful at the start of your project, or if you're looking for general advice but can't commit to a full-scale implementation project. To meet these requirements, organizations must assemble a project team and initiate the project, conduct a gap analysis, scope the ISMS, initiate high-level policy development, perform a risk assessment, select and apply controls, develop risk documentation, conduct staff awareness training, assess, review and conduct an internal audit, and optional for a certification audit. Now, what is ISO 27002? ISO 27002 is a supplementary standard that focuses on the information security controls that organizations might choose to implement. ISO, IEC 27002, 2013 gives guidelines for organizational information security standards and information security management practices including the selection, implementation and management of controls taking into consideration the organization's information security risk environment, S. ISO 27002 was designed to be used by organizations that intend to. 1. Choose controls within the process of implementing an information security management system isms based on ISO, IEC 27001. 2. Implement commonly accepted information security controls. Now let's move to the difference between ISO 27002 and ISO 27001. ISO 27001 provides the specification for an ISMS, including requirements for the risk management process that you should use to choose the security measures appropriate to the risks your organization faces. ISO 27002 provides guidance, providing best practice on applying the controls listed in Annex A of ISO 27001. As ISO 27001, ISO 27002 contains clauses, which are area that organizations must focus on in security. Like SO 27001, ISO 27002 contains 19 clauses, 5 introductory and 14 main clauses. What are ISO 27002 clauses? Each clause contains a number of main security categories. The clauses, accompanied with the number of main security categories included within each clause are. The standard starts with five introductory clauses. 1. Introduction. 2. Scope. 3. Normative references. 4. Terms and definitions. 5. Structure of this standard. These are followed by 14 main clauses. 1. Information security policies. 2. Organization of Information Security. 3. Human Resource Security. 4. Asset Management. 5. Access Control. 6. Cryptography. 7. Physical and Environmental Security. 8. Operation Security Procedures and Responsibilities, Protection from Malware, Backup, Logging and Monitoring, Control of Operational Software, Technical Vulnerability Management and Information Systems Audit Coordination. 9. Communication Security, Network Security Management and Information Transfer. 10. System Acquisition, Development and Maintenance, Security Requirements of Information Systems, Security in Development and Support Processes and Test Data. 11. Supplier Relationships, Information Security in Supplier Relationships and Supplier Service Delivery Management. 12. Information Security Incident Management, Management of Information Security Incidents and Improvements. 13. 
Information security aspects of business continuity management, information security continuity and redundancies. 14. Compliance, compliance with legal and contractual requirements and information security reviews. End of the lesson. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video please press like and subscribe. Goodbye.